Hi, and hello. It's uh, Alan McElroy here from Burton International. And uh, I just wanted to give you a review from the sailing yacht desk, and as reported in our market report for 2022. So if you're all sitting comfortably, I shall begin. 2022. Well, if ever there was a seller's market, then this was it. I don't think in, in the 18 years at my desk here at Birth and I've ever seen such a year. Buyers driven to compete with each other as demand outstripped supply. It was also the motivation to buy that was interesting, with long-held dreams to undertake more challenging and offshore sailing on family, suddenly crystallizing into firm plans, making yacht purchase uh, a necessity. What was selling? There's quite a bit of upsizing going on, with families having loved, or in some cases endured, a smaller yacht, reaching the decision that if they were going to spend more time afloat, then they were going to need a bigger boat. Across the board, and even for UK-based sailors, there was a desire to push beyond local sailing grounds and go further. As always, we are heavily involved with the sale of blue water yachts, and this market remained as strong as ever. A glance over the ARC entry list confirms the desire to cross oceans is very much alive and thriving. Of course, you can cross an ocean in pretty much anything that floats, but our advice is that proven, well-appointed blue water yacht is definitely the best option. That changes. Because of Brexit, coupled along with COVID travel restrictions, meant buying locally in the UK became the norm. It was a pretty open and shut case for anyone wanting to cruise here in the UK the yacht had to be UK VAT paid, which in most cases meant staying within the domestic market. While COVID restrictions have eased, travelling is not as much fun as it used to be. So whilst a few brave souls did travel, by far the majority preferred to stay local. This was also the trend for our offices in Sweden and the USA. As mentioned previously, UK owners now have the opportunity to keep non-VAT paired yachts in the Mediterranean. And this can apply to both new or brokerage yachts. But we did spend quite a bit of time explaining the current rules to both buyers and yacht owners. And that is only recently that HMRC clarified the inverse position. VAT paired yachts are now allowed to return to the UK from the Mediterranean via returns good relief, provided that prior to Brexit they have been in the UK. For more detailed information about this, see our article by uh, Simon Onslow. Was it a good time to sell? Very definitely, if you were choosing to take a break from yachting, but more of a challenge if you were changing for a larger or smaller yacht. Unless a replacement was in the bag in 2021, you ran the risk of a season or more without a yacht. This point market was definitely reflected in both asking prices and selling prices. As is always the case in setting an asking price, you have to look at the market, weigh up the alternatives, and the rest is down to experience and good instinct. Were prices too high during 2021? I don't think so. Certainly some owners did very well and in many cases had their choice of any number of buyers. There are a number of aspects to successfully marketing and ultimately selling a brokerage yacht. Price, location and condition are one of the favourite mantras. With our brand, expertise and experience, we have the wherewithal to present, promote, negotiate and administer a sale. The one area for which we rely on an owner is presentation and condition. As with any gear, good or bad, a number of yachts stood out for the sheer level of inquiry and speed of sale. And this was universally based on their presentation and condition. Equally, a poorly presented yacht will struggle even in the best markets. This is a theme running through every review that, that I have written for Burton. And however, however hot the market, the same applies. A small or relatively sensible investment in presentation prior to marketing is key.